What's going on Vape Nation? Job 131 Vapes is still here and this is my review on Sigreens Stainless Steel and Copper Stingray X Clone. So before I get into the zoomed in view and talking about it, I just gotta say that this is pretty sexy looking. Uh, I really like it a lot. The quality is pretty good. But uh, again, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'll talk about that a bit later. So for now, uh, like I said, we'll go into the zoomed in view. I'll take a look at the ins and outs of this. And after that, we'll vape it and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So keep watching. All right, so here we are in the unboxing or mock unboxing of the Sigreen copper and stainless steel Stingray X clone. So as you can see, you got the Stingray box or the Sigreen box. It says copper over here in the corner. And you have a QR QC code right there. Open it up and plastic inside says Sigreen. Or got a drip tip. A hybrid uh, top cap or connection and then you have your <coughs> Stingray X clone. So that's the Stingray clone uh, up close. As you can see the engraving is pretty nice and nice and deep as well as the cutout for the logo. Uh, the copper is kind of patining or there's a patina forming on the copper. I've been using this for about a week or so. But uh, let's take it apart and uh, we'll look at it piece by piece. All right, so first we'll start with, I guess, the drip tip. As you can see, bore is pretty big. It's a real big circle. So it's kind of so it's some juice in there. So don't worry about that. Uh, nice kind of brushed look or brushed stainless steel with a copper accent over here double o-rings but yeah nice. It, it looks nice sitting on different uh, RDAs and stuff as far as a drip tip is concerned with the shape it's a bit short keeps it nice uh, profile is kinda low which is kinda nice and uh, in my experience vaping it doesn't really get too hot so that's that's always a plus next we have your top cap as you can see a mix of copper and stainless steel and you have your copper or silver plated copper floating 510 pin right there I like the look of it you know give some contrast and you have your kind of air holes or venting holes I guess or whatever you want to call it threads are nice and then again yeah there's your silver plated copper pin and Delrin so you can see it uh, floats so adjuster pretty much most atomizers but yeah it's nice next you have your uh, tube section stainless steel or brushed stainless steel look and copper on the inside a little bit dirty on the copper on the inside uh, even when I bought it even though this has been a week here we're next tube right here and again, threads are really nice. Um, I would even say buttery. Finally, you have your, I guess, your main tube, or the tube with the logo and the lock. So again, Stingray logo, nice engraving, it's pretty deep, as well as the cutouts for the uh, for the logo as well. Copper is uh, starting to patina, like I said, but it's nice it's a nice look and you have your locking ring right here which is like any other stingray locking ring uh, just keep in mind don't crank it down too hard or anything like that because it could get stuck but again you have your copper tube and I noticed that this one is really dirty I don't know if you guys can see that but on the inside a lot of little dirt marks over there and stuff like that but I don't think it it didn't do anything with as far as conductivity is concerned, at least not that I've noticed. If 
finally you have, or not finally, but then you have your hybrid 510 adapter. You got two holes in it, along with your hole for your RDA. Um, you can use these holes as venting slash to unscrew it if you ever try to get it stuck. And like you said, threads are nice. But yeah, that's that piece. And finally, you have your switch. So on the bottom, this one has a logo. Engraving, like I said, is nice. It's a, like a copper, uh, copper in the middle, and then stainless steel on the outside. Nice engraving. Again, you have the same kind of design as the top, or venting on the top. And you have brass, or sorry, copper. And finally, your 510 pin, your silver plated copper pin. So I'll take it apart, uh, show you. It's a typical um, Stingray switch with the magnets, but uh, I lost the pin somehow when I was, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was when I was changing a battery or what have you. This is. I lost the pin that's inside to lock it, I guess, or well, you'll see what I'm talking about. So again, there's one magnet, and I think I cracked it, as you can see over there, but that's a magnet, that's one magnet, and that's the other magnet over here, and it's all copper. And so I lost this pin right here, this little pin. Um, you can see that. So I actually took a nail and I cut it down the size, and it, it seems to work pretty well. But yeah, it's your typical switch from or for for a stingray, and you just uh, to put it back, it just screw it all back together. Now, <clears throat> just give me a second. I will say that uh, try and make sure this is tight because it loosens up over time. So throws really, really short like the, like all other stingrays. Okay. Um, which I like. And obviously the magnets is a plus. So yeah, that's the bottom switch. So let's just take a look at it in its different configurations. This is, I'll put it in the 18350. It's a uh, just to let you know, this this one is a bit shorter than uh, the other ones, uh, which is kind of nice. I, I really didn't think you'd be able to make it too much smaller, but it's significantly smaller. So there it is in 18-350 mode. So there it is in 18-500 mode. And again, still very small. Alright, as you can see. So there it is in 18650 mode. Like I said, it's so it's really nice. The machine our build quality or machining on this is really good. You can barely see the uh, space or, or separation between the tubes. And like I said, the threads are very nice. But yeah, I this is the mode I usually use it in. Um, again, you could use the hybrid pin, but for me, I actually like using it like this, uh, just because you have more copper accent, like on the top and the bottom, the switch and, and the top cap match, right? So it's just, for me, it's just a aesthetic thing. I don't really use this. I mean, you can, but I don't really, like you said, I'm not really, it's not that I'm not a fan, but... I think it looks better just using the regular top cap. I mean, it does make it a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. It, for me, it's small enough as it is. So yeah, that is, or that was, the zoomed-in view for the copper stingray, stainless steel and copper stingray X clone from Sigreen. Uh, after this, we'll go out and we'll vape it, and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So keep watching.
All right, we're back, and that was the zoomed-in view for the Stingray X clone from Sigreen. What I like about this, number one, is that it's a very, very nice-looking mech or mod. Uh, it's pretty sexy, I gotta say. Uh, secondly, build quality in it is pretty good. Uh, threads are almost buttery. buttery. <laughs> threads are almost buttery. Uh, it's really nice. Switch works perfectly. It's hard, definitely, because of the copper. Um, got silver-plated copper contacts, magnets in the switch, throw. I, I mean, I like Stingrays, so I'm kind of biased towards these things and, and picky at the same time. I like the fact that it includes the hybrid uh, top cap. I'm not currently using it because I do like that uh, copper ring. It adds a nice little accent piece to kind of match the bottom and the Stingray logo. So that's just me and also a top, that tip. So it comes with a tip. I mean, that's a definitely a plus. Um, vapes really good, hits hard. Definitely sexy. Um, locking ring is just the same as, as other, other uh, Stingrays. It's, it's nice. So what I don't like, mine in particular, uh, the pin in, in the switch, I actually lost it. I don't, I don't even know when. I don't even know if I, I lost it when I changed the battery or whatever. But the pin, I lost it. So I have to kind of substitute, and I think I cut a nail or something, and use that for the for the pin that's in the switch. So just be careful of that. I don't know if it's just mine, but that's not, that's definitely a negative for me. Uh, other than that, not too much negatives. Like that, that's pretty much it. I, like you said, I mean the build quality on this is pretty good. I, I, I like it. I mean it's pretty obvious. Would I buy this? Well, yeah, I bought it. I actually picked it up for how much did I pick this up for? I picked this up for forty-eight dollars Canadian from my boy Kamiri One Hundred and One, or you can you can check their Facebook Kamiri Vapes at uh, yeah on Facebook oh so definitely if you like the look and on uh, stainless steel and copper and it definitely hits hard if you like stingrays you'll like this uh, I like it a lot again it's I like stingrays um, eh, whatever it is what it is so other than that this is a job 131 vape saying keep your wicks wet and thanks for watching